Ms. Vedashank. President, I give notice that on the next day of meeting, I will move that this House notes that, one, medicinal cannabis has been legally prescribed in Victoria since 2016 and has provided life-changing relief for hundreds and thousands of Victorians. Two, Victoria's driving laws treat medicinal cannabis patients like criminals, causing many to live in fear and avoid their medication, putting their health at risk. Three, no other legally prescribed medication attracts this kind of discrimination. Four, roadside drug testing is not a reliable safety tool as it only tests for presence and not impairment, which meant that in 22-23, over 7,000 Victorians were charged for presence alone, compared to around 100 tested for uh, and charged for impairment. Five, the government has already funded A, a report by the Medicinal Cannabis and Safe Driving Working Group, B, a Monash University study into drivers who use medicinal cannabis, C, two Swinburne University of Technology studies into roadside screening for medicinal cannabis products, D, a driving trial similar to the one proposed by the government. Six, the government proposed driving trial is redundant and if they were serious about safety and impairment, the government would include the prescription drugs like opioids in this trial and calls on the government to immediately establish a legal defence for medicinal cannabis prescription holders who are charged with the presence of drugs in their system if they were taken in accordance with the prescription and were not impaired when tested and ensure that this defence operates until the completion of the trial and subsequent legislation is passed by the parliament.